Cadestral's new free API just dropped and we'll be testing it versus tools like Cursor and Bolt.new today. Because what if I told you you could build apps, websites, create content, and even SaaS tools completely for free? This new AI coder is so powerful and fast and I'm about to show you exactly how to use it, plus the best prompts, tips, and workflows to get the most out of it. Let's go. So here's the announcement from Codestro 25.01 and this is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you what you can do with this today. One of the best things about this since its announcement is that you can get a free API and then you can plug it into other programs for coding. I'll show you exactly how to do all of this for free. Normally you would pay like hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for tools like this. Now you can do it all for free. And also here's the interesting thing. I know a lot of people here like DeepSeek version two, but actually you can see here, Cadestro, the new version, is actually beating DeepSeek, which is down here, in many different ways, right? For example, human evaluation, context length, 256K, code evaluation, live code bench, repo bench, et cetera, right? All the benchmarks, all the metrics, et cetera. It looks like 20, Cadestral 2501 is absolutely smashing it. And you can see here for language as well, so human evaluation, Python, all these different benchmarks right here. The same for this. It's really easy to compare them versus, say, DeepSeek, and also you can see how it's performing versus OpenAI. So you can see here, human evaluation, FIM, Python is absolutely smashing it. Now this is completely available for free. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get access to it, including how to get the API so that you can use this to code, to build, to do SEO, to build tools, whatever you wanna do with it, you can do. I'll show you exactly how to do this today. First place you want to start is to go to console.mistral.ai forward slash cadestral, right? Now, if you want to just get straight to that, just go to mistral.ai, go on build on the platform. I know I'm butchering the French. And then from here, you go to overview, go down to cadestral, right? Not API keys, you go down to cadestral, you grab your AK key like you see right here, and boom shakalaka, you got the endpoints, you're ready to go. Now, what's also cool about this is you can also build agents. So I've created like content creation agents, content outline agents, keyword agents, etc. That's all available for free as well directly inside the dashboard right here. But for now, we're going to focus on Cadestral because it's pretty amazing what you can do. Now, the final thing that you want to do once you've got the free API is then you're going to get Visual Studio Code, right? So download Visual Studio Code. This is available for free as well. You can get it completely for free. And this is what's going to help you plug in the API. I'll show you exactly how to do that in a second. And this is also one of my favorite coding tools. So we've got Mistral AI set up. We've got Visual Studio Code set up. Now, what do we do? Now you're going to navigate to Visual Studio Code, which we've got access to down here. And the first thing you want to do is go to extensions and type in continue, right? Continue is available on the extensions marketplace. It's completely for free and it allows you to use Cadestro, Claude and more AIs. Now, the main thing about this is you want to have somewhere where you can use the API and plug the API key from Cadestro directly into your coder, which is what continue can do as well as Klein, which I'll come on to in a minute. So from here, we can just go to continue and then on continue, you would click to add chat model, select Mistral from the list, then select Cadestral from the list and then plug in your API key down here. How'd you get the API key? You go back to Mistral, dashboard, copy and paste that bad boy, plug that in right there, hit connect. I'm gonna delete that API key straight after the video because everyone on YouTube has now seen it, but you get the point. And now from here, you can ask it to do whatever you want. Now, you might be like, okay, what are the use cases for this? Well, you can create apps, you can create a site, you can create a blog, create a local SEO site, you can create affiliate sites. You can screenshot a site and create it. You can build your own tools with AI, and you can also deploy these sites and host them on the interwebs. Let me show you an example. So if we say create beautifully designed snow day calculator, SEO optimized for the keyword virtual content on the page two plus a relevant tool, we can then go back to Visual Studio Code. We're gonna plug that into continue. So once you've installed continue, you're gonna see it down here in the extensions list. We'll hit enter like so. And look at that. It's so rapid as well. It's absolutely so fast, right? When you're doing this. Now, if we say launch it for me inside the chat here, it's going to create the HTML page. Then we can apply that. Then if we want to test this out, so we've got the HTML here. Now, if you really would quickly just want to test this out and preview it, what we can do is we can copy that from the HTML. We can go to liveweave.com, paste that in. Then we can grab the CSS file plug that into the CSS section over here. So now you can see it's nicely designed. And then finally, we can grab the JavaScript, pop that in there and look at that. Completely free, we just built a snow day calculator. It works perfectly. We've built the tool, we're living the dream, all right? One thing I'd recommend more is that you actually give exact specific instructions inside Cadestra on exactly how to do this. 
But you get the point, right? Super easy, fast to do, didn't take long at all. Um, I've got everything nicely. One of the other things I was wondering about this as well, right? This super interesting is you can see how this content is actually really nicely formatted inside the chat. Now you might be thinking, why is that good? What we can actually do is use this to create content, right? So for example, if I take the copy, so I'm going to take this prompt that works really well for creating SEO content. Then I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code. I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to put create an SEO optimized article for this article title equals. We'll plug in the title. So for example, best SEO training Japan. You can plug in a content outline over here. I'm going to delete that for now though. And then I'm going to insert some source context about me, who I am, my business, etc. Right? So we're going to tailor this to Goldie Agency and, and my achievements and everything, but you can just tailor it to yourself and your business. Then we've got some instructions on how to write the content. We're going to hit enter like, look at that content done as well, including the internal links. Now let's preview that. So I'm going to copy the output from this, get it open on markdownlivepreview.com, just see what it looks like. Now we have our SEO optimized article for the keyword best SEO training in Japan. You can see how quick and easy it is to generate responses from continue. The API is completely free. doesn't cost you a penny. You can probably build like an article writing tool using Visual Studio Code along with continue to build this out and you see how powerful it is, right? And then the content itself is all tailored to me. So for example, what are the best SEO training programs in Japan? Julian Gold is SEO Elite Circle is the top choice. Udemy has some workshops, etc. How much does it cost? Here's some examples. How can I get a free SEO strategy session? You can click the link here. And look, that takes us straight over to the landing page we want to funnel traffic to, right? That is just absolutely insane how quickly and easily you can do it. You might be asking, does that actually work? So for example, Google the keyword SEO training in Japan. Here's an article I made using the same prompt a couple of months ago. That's still ranking. Also, if we go down here, you can see another example right here. So it's now super easy and powerful to write better content than humans using a free API that you can automate in one click. And you can do it all using Cadestral and this tool continue that I'm showing you today. Obviously you would quality control and edit the content before you publish it, but you get the point. So let's keep moving on now. What we're going to do from here is we've already tested out continue. Looks really good. Super easy to set up. Literally took me like one minute. And what I love about this is for example, when I've been using tools like bolt.new or cursor, they can easily break. They take a lot of time to, you have to go back and forth with it a lot. It's not very fast. And with bolt.new, if you go directly to the website, you cannot control the API that you use. But inside Visual Studio Code, you can insert whatever API you want. You can use a free API from Cadestro. That has better benchmarks than a lot of APIs that are paid out there. And you can do this all in minutes like I've shown you today. I just want to give you the heads up as well. Some people have managed to get Cadestro working with Klein as well, which is another extension inside Visual Studio Code. Actually, I tested out, plugged in the API, plugged in the base URL, etc. Didn't work at all. It just got status code errors. And that seemed to be quite common when I checked it out on the internet. So instead, we're going to focus on continue right now. We've shown already how you can use it, for example, for creating calculator tools, for how to build websites, how to set up Cadestro for free. Let me show you some other stuff right now. So for example, we can come back here and we can say create a five page website. Plug that in over here, hit enter. And now you can see that is building it out directly inside continue. Now, the only issue that you're actually going to find with Continue is that it doesn't create the files automatically for you. So you have to add those in. So for example, if we create a new text file. Now, if you're not sure what files you need to create, you can actually just ask inside Continue, like what files to create in this project. It will show you an example of the project structure, the file descriptions, and then you can set those up for your file, right? So for example, index.html, you got the file right there. Then you can set that up later. We can, for example, say build a Space Invaders game with HTML, JS, and CSS. Gives us a recommended project structure right there. Then if we go back to liveweave.com, we've got our game ready to go like you can see right here. All right, and that was super easy and simple to set up. Now, if you want to, for example, host all of this, what you can do is create each of the files separately inside the project, like you can see with this structure here. Then if you want to host it, just go to netlify.com. You can go to add a new site, import an existing project, try Netlify drop, the folder with all your project files directly on your laptop, drag the folder into Netlify, and then it can host the whole project for you. And from there, you can add a custom domain, like you can see, for example, with this website right here. Let's try another one. Let's build a dad's joke keyboard, grab the CSS. Again, if you want to preview it really quickly, you can just do it using this method. Super simple and easy. Grab the JS, plug that in, and there you go, right? And you've got all the dad's jokes you ever needed. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. How do you know if there's an elephant under your bed? Your head hits the ceiling. Where will the little snake arrive? 
I don't know, but he won't be long. All right, it's genius. What a time to be alive, peeps. What a productive use of the day. Now, if you want all the video notes from today, feel free to get that. If you like free tools like this, then check out my instructions on how to use, for example, Bolt DIY, Light LLM, etc. You're going to host servers for those and then host them locally and build free tools similar to what we've done today. And if you want all the prompts and tips, techniques, tutorials, plus a bunch of other SAPs that you can test out using free coding tools, feel free to get that. I'll add that inside my free SEO course. It comes with loads of stuff on how to do keyword research, SEO link building, quality control, topical maps, SEO sites, content creation, how to build free SEO tools, etc. And if you go inside the free SEO tools category, then go to Cadestral, you can get all the video notes directly there. And if you want a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan. So you'll get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more leads, sales, and profits from your website. You would discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. And this would normally cost you thousands of dollars, but we're doing it for free to help you. You can learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to 10 x the SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients, like you can see right here on this page. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.